On today's Talk Wrestling, we're going to get Rob Van Dam, the whole effing show. I didn't say effing in front of you because I'll get in some serious trouble. His thoughts on CM Punk's departure from WWE, and I'll ask him a couple of questions from you guys out in Facebook land. Let's take a look. Dylan, who, who are we talking to today? Rob Van Dam. All right. So the, the hot topic in wrestling, as far as people that aren't there anymore, like you're not there part time, is uh, CM Punk. And people have been asking me to ask you what your thoughts on Punk's departure, and if you think he'll ever come back, and what are your thoughts overall on him leaving WWE, possibly for good. <clears throat> um, I imagine he will come back because I think there's unfinished business there, you know. Um, but. You know, I, honestly, I don't care nearly as much as everyone else does. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's, um, but uh, but it is cool that that they do care. You know, it's awesome for him that uh, so many people are uh, so excited that it's great to be in demand like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just like if someone tells me. Um, dude, there's an RVD chant on Monday Night Raw tonight, and I'm not even there, you know? Like, it's like, oh, man, that's pretty cool. Well, he gets the uh, CM Punk chant, you know, like, all the time. And he was, I think he left before my la my run even started uh, uh, last time. Last year yeah. he was there, but last yeah. time he was, so yeah, he came he's been again, gone. Yeah. So anyway, anyway uh, but I mean, I've always, uh, I've always liked him. You know, he's like a real straightforward, like, he doesn't seem to put up with anything. And, and I like observing that about him just because, you know, like somebody could look at, at him and, and say, you know, that he's like, a, um, uh, I'm going to say bratty for, for lack of a better word coming to mind right now. Right, right, right. But but for the same things, I can see it as if, well, he just ain't going to. He's not budging. He's not putting up with anything. You know no. what I mean? And, that, and that's kind of – it can be respectable, and I respect that about him. For instance, we're on the airplane, and uh, the the flight attendant comes over and takes his bag, you know, and moves it and puts someone else's bag in there. And he goes, I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting your bag uh, down right here. Um, so that I can put his, uh, his up here. And uh, he goes, I, I just want to let you know. He goes, why'd you move my bag? He goes, I'm sorry? No, I just, it's just right here. I just want to let you know. He goes, why my bag? He goes, my bag's fit. His, that guy's the one that didn't, uh, has a, doesn't have a bag that fits over his. Why'd you have to move mine? And it was like, so, <laughs> so, it was funny. It's funnier you know, now. Yeah, 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 but at the same time, I kind of liked, I like, you know, like, I don't have I, enough I, of that I in I had me. the same thing. I I'm so laid back, and yeah. it's probably a good thing to be laid back, but sometimes I think, you know, why didn't I say something? Sometimes yeah. I even get like that. You just, know? I, I had that same thing. I had a small, yeah. small bag going to Florida, and this big, this big, Big gig guy, bigger than me, has this big old bag to go with him, and they're moving everybody's shit back down. It's like, why, why, why are we being made to move for his shit? Yeah, well, just, yeah. One time there was a building person that was uh, leading a bunch of us wrestlers to go somewhere for whatever. We were doing an autograph signing or something, and they were lost. They didn't know which way, you know. So they went one way, and they said, "I'm sorry." They turned around, they went the other way, and they went up, and they stopped again. They said, "I'm sorry." And then when the, as soon as they went to go again, he was the first one to be like, "Do you want us to just wait here and you find out and come back and get us?" <laughs> And he was like, I I just, you know, and he was just like so, like, like you know, just like so, uh, you know, I don't know. Yeah, <clears throat> I've never seen an RVD Punk match. That'd have been cool before before he left. That'd have been nice to see. Yeah, I think. I think the only time I've been in the ring with him was in the Elimination Chamber match, right. which I don't remember that much, but I saw a picture of it recently, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, he was yeah, in there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, Gotta ask, I gotta, from our, my buddy, his name is Dimesack Ricky Styles. I, I, I'm totally pronouncing these wrong and I'm sorry. Indica or Sativa? Uh, indica more for pain and for insomnia and for nausea and uh, probably even for to stimulate appetite if you're, you know, someone that has a problem with, with that. Sativa more for a uh, functioning lift, um, stress dehabilitator, um, maybe more of a, a daytime functional, definitely an artistic creative uh, usage. 
So, 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 so you you go more to the Steva then, or? Um, I, I think both have their place. I think you know everything has their place, but uh, yeah, more likely, more my, uh, I'll gravitate more towards uh, towards the Steva. The uh, um, Indicas a lot of times, you know, serve their purpose by making um, one sleepy. Kind of fun as that, right? Yeah, but some people need that though, right? We all know you're a big uh, like a. Action hero and uh, comic book hero collector guy, things like that. Is there any action figure in your collection or not in your collection that you would love to get your hands on before you stop buying? No, as a matter of fact, I'm trying to stop being such a hoarder right now. I saw the hoarder tweet for Tweet Seeker. I saw the hoarder one. Yeah. Was that was that was that at Sonya's department saying you gotta get rid of this shit or? <laughs> yeah, she's 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 the force behind she's it. The force behind it. Okay. But also, I had something inside of me that was that said, you know, like, like uh, up until recently. Recently, by the way, there, there was piles and piles of shit in the gym, huh? Uh, yeah, there was there was shit for so days, much man. Stuff. And, and yeah. that was yeah, and that was just like one day of getting rid of stuff. We had, right. but um, and we still have a bunch more. But uh, until recently, like whenever someone had the conversation, you know, and said about you know, oh, I wish I would have uh, kept all my Star Wars guys. I had them all, or oh, I wish I had all my Spider Man. I always felt like I had the advantage because I was one up on them because I was like, huh, I, I still ha- I still have. <laughs> Oh, mine, yeah. yeah. But then, you know, just recently, when we were m- trying to make room and trying to just, you know, and, and also mm-hmm. I'll, I have an eBay store um, that you can see at, at robvandam.com. Mm-hmm. Um, you can get you can get there from there. I don't know what the eBay R- slash RVD, whatever the hell it is, but but I put all my personal stuff on there that I have too much of, and we had so much, like three carloads of stuff that that um, is is still going to be in the process of being posted on eBay for a while. But if you're looking for something. Uh, email my guy Tony V because we probably have it. But um, so so we were while we were doing that, a lot of stuff wouldn't make the first. Uh, it, it survived the first cut, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And then I'd, I'd put it in a pile that I'd think about for later. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, I don't want to get rid of that. And I set it somewhere, and then I think about it for a while. And then when I'd come back to work after a break, you know, next day or that day, whatever, I'd be like, you know what? I'm done with this. And, and like, for instance, do I really want to carry all of my Star Wars action figures into my 50s? For, right, For yeah. what? For what? You know, like, if I ever move, I'm going to either have to get a room that's big enough to have all of my toys or else get rid of them. I have... Um, two display cases full of Ghost Rider stuff. That's, I saw that. Okay. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, plus a wall full of all the action figures that they made of him. And then I have all my RVD stuff, which almost right. matches it. You know, that's yeah, that's just sure. a, a, a lot of stuff. And, um, you know, I don't know about the Ghost Rider mm-hmm. stuff, you know, but the RVD stuff I have to keep, of course. Yeah, of course. Everything else, I don't know. I don't set you any doubles the RVD figures because Dylan's like, Daddy, can I get an RVD figure? It's like, well, I'll talk to Rob, see what he's got left. <laughs> yeah, I rode my bike here, and I don't think yeah. I... Do you don't think heavy didn't quite fit in my fanny pack. Not today. Maybe next time. Um, who was the first person to contact you with Tweet Secret? Was it was it Brit or was it somebody one, one of the other CEOs or who was that exactly that contacted you about getting started? Well, it was. Um, I mean, first Chris Jericho told me about it. You know, he said I think this thing is like uh, really cool. You might want to look at it. And I found out Chavo was also doing it. Mm-hmm. Frankie Kazarian, Christopher Daniels. I found out right away. Uh, that they were they were part of it, and I was like, dude, I want to I want to jump on and be part of the part of the one of the first guys, you know. And first, I talked to a, du- a dude named Kale, and um, and then eventually also Jeff. And uh, I oh, talked, Jeff, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's a techie guy. I talked to him when I have problems because I have an old ass iPhone four. <laughs> I, oh wow, the four. my six is on the way. I mean, I, I made a mistake and I ordered it thinking it would, I would get it sooner, but instead they make you wait till last when you order it. I guess, yeah. but I'm learning that. And in the meantime, every day I think this phone is dead. And, For sure. Uh, one, one time it just showed code. Code and half an apple. Oh, that's, always, that's never good. That's never but good. I've dropped it in the pool. Uh, uh, I've, I've noticed, washed it several times. I noticed more of my Android. Since you contacted me, we were in Disneyland about three weeks ago. My phone's been dead or day after day because I've been getting questions from everybody about you, getting texts from you, texts from Britt, contact with Jeff. Just, it's been, it's, this, this tweet secret thing has taken over the world slowly but surely. Well, you know, my whole career people have asked about fan clubs like dude let's let me be the president of an rvd fan club and it's like you know it's 
I remember when I was young, fan clubs were, were cool. I'd see ads in the magazines. You pay right. like pay like maybe nineteen ninety nine. You get an autographed personalized picture. Maybe you get a letter signed from them that probably everybody gets, but they right. put their name on it. And then what else can you get? You know, I mean, you, you, if there's if there's any like little merchandise, like yeah, maybe may, if there's a keychain with that celebrity on it, maybe you get something like that. But then right. you're kind of, I mean, you don't want it. celebrities aren't so accessible. You can just call them up. Hey, this is yeah. Hey man, I'm in your fan club, dude. Look, uh, you want to get some dinner tonight? It's not like that, <laughs> yeah, you know. No. But uh, short of that, with Tweet Secret, I feel like it is the closest they could get. I answer their questions personally. I saw, I've been seeing yeah. that. Yeah, well, it was funny. God, he's put me out of a job. I was trying to question it's like what well, i got about to ask him on here he's answered everything he's answered who your favorite wrestler was growing up i had no idea you admired lanny poffel so much and i saw the videos you're talking about him and the warrior talking yeah. about watching him when he were when you were growing up yeah, and, and I, seeing how how true. crazy stuff he was doing back then even